Welcome back. We are here on ETO looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, March 4th, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us on our Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. So the link is down below. You're very welcome to join. So we have the S&P 500 right here, and as you can see, this was ended up being a very red day. It looked really promising. We did not manage to take out the previous highs from yesterday, and then we fell, and now we're trading right underneath the 20 exponential moving average. At this point, it's very difficult to say where we are basically going. If you look at a MACD, then we'll probably go uh, towards the 50 moving average here at uh, 3,824, give or take, uh, 21. Um, Stochastic is bullish, uh, CCI is flat, and the RSI is bearish at this point. But uh, pullbacks towards the 50 moving average, we try that, that you will basically offer quite a lot of support, and then we'll most likely head towards uh, 4,000. Um, rally above the 20 exponential, that could open the door to 4,000 straight away without this breakdown towards, uh, towards the 50. If we break the 50, then we could head towards 3,750, but um, how this has basically been behaving in the past, it is most likely that we're going to rally from the 50 if we even get to that point. But 4,000 is the target still. So let's look at Dow Jones. So same thing here. We did rally and then break down, tested the 20 exponential, pull back, and at this point, it looks like we are going to bounce from the 20 exponential. Um, if we manage to break below that, the 50 is right underneath here at 30,956, and that will probably be as far as this basically goes. Target here is, first of all, in the short run, the 32,000, and after that, 32,500, give or take, and probably 33,000. We are still in an uptrend. We have had these occasional pullbacks uh, uh, recently, but still the 50 is holding, and we haven't seen major moves to the 200 moving average for basically back in October and September we saw these breakdowns otherwise we have been trending at the 20 and the 50 moving average and slowly going to the upside technically indicators they are fairly mixed uh, RSI is bearish the CCI is flat the stochastic is bullish at this point and the MACD is bearish so let's look at the uh, Nasdaq So Nasdaq, completely different story here because this looks really, really bearish at this point. Technically, the gators, they are also all over the place. The CCI is flat, the RSI is bearish, and the stochastic is bullish, and the MACD is uh, bearish at this point. So what happened here is that we tested the 20 exponential and then just got absolutely hammered. We're down roughly 2%. At this point, it is fairly likely that we'll test the 30 30 13,000, um, break below this candlestick here at 12,678, well that opens the door to much lower levels, probably the previous highs over over here, that is roughly 12,500 uh, before finding support. So this could drop considerably, we can also look at the Fibonacci retracement for this and see that we landed on the first Fibonacci trace in 38.2 right here at uh, roughly 12,776. And then the next one is here, 12,400, and then all the way down to 12,127. Uh, so it's going to be interesting basically what happens here. So Cassie looks to be very bullish at this point. So if it managed to, to if the MACD, um, uh, rolls over here and heads back to the upside, then we could see this go to 14,000, probably 15,000. We also have occasional pullbacks here in the in the NASDAQ, but we haven't tested, for example, the 200 moving average for uh, quite some time. We have to go all the way back to the beginning of the pandemic in order to see a pullback to the 200 moving average. At this point, yes, a break above the 20 exponential, that could open the door to 14,000, and then after that, 14,500, then 15,000. So, yes, let's look at the DAX. 
So the DAX here, uh, we broke down towards the 20 exponential and then rallied from there. Uh, technical indicators are looking fairly promising for the DAX. As long as we are trading above the 20 exponential, then we are going slowly up towards 14,500. We have been trading sideways for quite some time now and the 50 and the 20 exponential are basically holding and as long as that is the case we are slowly going to drift higher to the upside break below the 50 could open the door to these previous lows here at 14,400 and also the 200 moving average which we did test back here in october november so let's look at the uk and as you can see we have uh, rally today and we broke them above the 50 moving average and settled above the 50 trading at six thousand six hundred and twenty twenty four dollars uh, points i mean uh and at this moment technical indicators are technically to the upside so if you get another green candlestick here to, tomorrow i think we'd, we could head towards six thousand seven hundred and fifty and probably these previous highs Break below this previous candlestick here opens the door to roughly 6,350 and then to the 200 moving average. So, hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our new studios, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.